Black women are more likely to start a new business than white men. That's according to a report in the Harvard Business Review. But a lack of access to capital and other kinds of support makes success a struggle. The buy from a black woman holiday market in Times Square is one way to highlight and empower these entrepreneurs. H&M USA is presenting the marketplace at its flagship store in Times Square. Here to tell us more is the founder of the nonprofit Buy From A Black Woman, Nikki Porsche. Thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. Thank you so much, Sandra. I'm really honored. Thank you. And the first thing I think I, is I'd like for you to explain you know, where was the, what was the genesis of this idea? Why did you decide to start this organization? Yeah, so I'm located here in Atlanta, Georgia. And about six years ago, I went to an event around the holiday times. Um, and I was the only black woman there. And that's just crazy in Atlanta, Georgia, that I'm the only black woman anywhere. Um, there was this one woman, and in particular, she was selling chapstick, and she was selling it for $20. Um, and she had sold out, so she was just collecting emails at the time. And I thought it was crazy, because one, who is spending $20 for chapstick? And who is selling out of $20 chapstick? So I was like, this is crazy, right? And I know I knew black women at the time who were doing things like making body butter, making lip gloss, making chapsticks, one, they weren't selling them at such a high price point and they were not selling it out. Um, so I was like, what can I do at, you know, I was trying to figure out what I want to do with my life, you know, going through my spiritual awakening, like I need to do mm -hmm. something. I want to use my gifts and talents to, you know, empower the people who look like me, who think like me. Um, so I started blogging. I created a blog called buy from a black woman. And once a week I would buy something from a black woman. That was unconventional, something we never heard of. Um, I was buying toothpaste. There was a woman, she had a mail carrier. So I like melt a letter through that, nail polish, cotton candy. Um, the blog spread. People were like, oh my goodness, like I want to share this. Here are some more black women business owners. Black women business owners are reaching out to me asking, how can I be on your blog? Like, can I send you something? I'm like, no, I have mm -hmm. to buy it from you. Like, don't send me anything. I want to buy from the black one, right? Um, and then other people were like, hey, how can I donate? to your blog so you can keep this going. This is amazing. Um, at the time I was working at a nonprofit unfulfilled and I was just like, okay, well, you know, nonprofit teaches you, you want people to help spread your message and you want people to donate. So mm -hmm. I was like, people are doing that already. So let me go ahead and transform this blog into a nonprofit. Cause obviously there's something here with it. Um, mm -hmm. And that's really how it started. And, and, and so, and what's your, your race on Detra seems to be that you want black women to get the support um, that they need, and we should be at the forefront of providing that support for each other. Um, so how many, you talked about people reaching out to the blog, how many black uh, female owned businesses do you, are you involved with right now? I'm just curious oh how big this has gotten. <laughs> yeah. So it's, um, so on a, we have an online directory on a directory. We have about 600 businesses listed, mm -hmm. but that's not as many businesses that are impacted by our mission, right? If you search social media and see the hashtag buy from a black woman, you'll see it's being used over and over again. There are businesses owned by black women everywhere who have taken on the buy from a black woman mantra and they're spreading the message. So like our message is going far and why, um, you know, we had a directory for a quantum of information purposes, but I know I talk to other Black women who are not immediately involved with the community, who are being impactful, who use our resources, who, you know, use the hashtag, who say the mission, who say the motto, who say the name. So, you know, wherever you see a Black woman business owner, buy from a Black woman is there. Yeah. And so let's talk about this holiday market, uh, which is really a great idea. Um, and you're you're doing it in partnership with H and M, correct? Yes, that is correct. This summer, uh, we went on tour with the Black Women Inspire Tour. Um, that's something that started in 2018. During the month of July, I wanted to spend my birthday with Black women. Like I wanted to celebrate with those who inspire me. So I call it the Black Women Inspire Tour. Um, three years later, H&M saw the work we were doing. Like, hey, this looks great. We want to do more to empower Black women, but we want to empower you instead of starting the will over. So we came together um, for the Black Women Inspire Tour presented by H&M. We traveled to 16 different Different cities, had five pop ups inside of HM, bringing Black women business owners inside the store for people to buy from them, right? And it was amazing, Sandra. Like the audience, the people came out, the community came out, the response was amazing. It's still going on where people are like, oh, I remember you from the summer, or I found out about this business from the summer. Uh, so, you know, HM, we, we still keep our partnership, still talking. They're like, hey, 
would you like to come to Times Square? I was like, well, can I bring <laughs> black women with me? They're like, of course. So, you know, I'm bringing black women <laughs> like to Times Square. Like a no-brainer. Square. <laughs> right, like, you know. And I will say like, they have been um, very amazing, very welcoming, very warm, and very understanding to what black women need. Um, they know like what it is to be an ally, to be a partner, to know that they're supporting yeah. using your tools and resources to amplify the message, to amplify the organization, but most important is to amplify black women. So um, talk to me about some of the businesses that are gonna be there. And these, these are black uh, female businesses, female owned businesses, really having the chance of a lifetime to be able to show themselves off to all the folks that pass through Times Square. Yeah, Times Square, New York during the holiday season is already magical enough, right? And now here we'll have 26 Black women business owners over the course of four different week, weekends, you know, every Saturday, where they'll be able to interact with people in the biggest city um, in our country, more or less. So we have businesses returning from the tour. Um, a couple is like Ivy's team. Um, she was our first Black woman grant recipient. She has been with by from Black woman since the beginning. Um, Oyesu Solson, she was our e-commerce grant recipient. Um, Felicia, who is located in Orange, New Jersey, she was a Black woman relief fund recipient. Um, but then we have new vendors like Caitlin Ajawa. She's the newest member to the Buy from Black mm -hmm. woman community. And she is um, Guyanian and she does trips to Ghana to help people understand like you know where you're sourcing your cocoa butter from and all that yeah. stuff so we have like local businesses to New York businesses all across the country and also even some international businesses and December 11th and 18th those are the last two days because as we as we're running this interview I know you've had two days yes. and now we've got two days left eight the 11th and the 18th what is it from nine to five or what's the timing so we'll be there from 10 to 3. Uh, we'll be doing three, giveaways. Okay. We have our gift wrapping station so you can buy something from a Black woman and get it wrapped in Black woman gift wrapping paper. We'll have a DJ there as well, making sure that you are shopping to Black women music while listening to Black <laughs> women music while buying from Black women. You got all the bases covered. <laughs> all of this. Tis the season to support Black women business owners. So we're making sure like everybody knows they come in, like you're here to buy from a Black woman. You know, um, one of the things that your organizations, what, your motto, when you support a black woman business owner, you support a whole community. Talk to me a little bit about why people need to acknowledge that and, and support these businesses. So black women, we're never in silos, right? We're not just us. We are always supporting. You talked online, like the S on our chest is not for super, it's for support. Wherever we go, we're supporting more people. When you support one black woman business owner, you're supporting her whole community that's not only supporting her, but who she's also supporting. And then that overflows because now she's supporting that person, that person supporting another person, that person supporting another person. So you're never supporting just one black woman. You're never supporting just one black woman business. You're supporting communities on communities on communities. You know, and I think the, the last uh, two years, certainly the issues we're discussing here about the need to support uh, these, uh, you know, black, black female minority owned businesses. Um, it's not, this is, this is a, has been a persistent issue and it's not just going to go away because we're talking about it now. What do you think you need to do to try and sustain the energy, the momentum uh, for people to continue this, to recognize that, um, you know, it's not just about buying something for $10 now, it's really about, you know, helping a business stay on its feet and sustain a, a family workers for maybe a lifetime in a lot of cases. Yeah. So one thing about us, like we were around before, you know, the world woke up and was like, hey, let's support black businesses, right? So we've been doing this since 2016. So that's one thing that really helped because we had already been doing the work. We already knew how important the work has been um, and we continue to do the work. So when we are partnering with certain organizations, we let them know like, this is not, you know, something for you to flex on Instagram or to post a black square because it's trending. This is long-term work. We need long-term results. Um, like you said, like it could just be something as simple as you changing out one thing in your house and committing to like now i'm only going to buy coffee from a black woman i'm only going to buy tea from a black woman toothpaste from a black woman and then if you make that commitment you're going to do more than you know just that one you're going to like okay now i understand the impact i see how this is not only affecting this business this community but it's also making me a conscious consumer i'm being more intentional with my purchases i'm being more purposeful with my work and my words and that's really how we have long-term growth all right 
the Buy from a Black Woman Holiday Market in H&M in Times Square, December 11th and the 18th. Everything from toothpaste to candles to coffee to tea. Turn out and support this effort. Yes, thank you so much. Nikki Porsche, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. Thank you. Sandra Bookman, and here and now, we'll be right back. <laughs> 